The actual operation commenced um, back in January this year. The design of the DC has been on the design board for about five years. At that time it was looked at uh, where the network of the big W stores were going to grow to and it also looked at the life of these two existing DCs in Warwick and Monato and it was identified that we would outgrow that around this time. When the DC was on the design stage we looked at best practice operations and the thing that kept coming up was a goods to person system and the benefit that provided to a logistics operation in having the stock come to an operator rather than an operator go and have to walk and pick the stock. So we looked at that and we determined it was right for a selection of our stock here. We are now achieving benefits out of our goods to person system of achieving pick rates of around 491 OMs an hour, whereby if we're picking that out of the more traditional pick to belt operation, we're only hitting pick rates of around 120 OMs an hour. The Domatic team came on board very early and they were key to the design of, of this distribution centre. They were the ones that came forward and suggested the goods to person system and put a lot of time and effort into working with us to get us to understand it was the right solution for the business. They've put in all the racking through the site as well as the automation. It's been great having them on board and it's also been very good having the operational team as part of that development as early as we could as well. It is a very large DC, it's um, a flow through design where we have receiving on one end of the DC, we bring it into the middle of the DC where we pick it and then it gets dispatched out the other side of the DC. The DC is nearly half a kilometre long and about nearly 200 metres wide. We went the big bang approach where we went live to all the stores that we were servicing. So we're reaching our expected volumes from day one, which was a real test of the system and the team. The new people that we've brought onto the DC and particularly working in goods to person, they really enjoy working in goods to person. A lot of people prefer to work in this area than doing the manual pick or the sort of picks. The process of the system is very easy for the operators to learn. We had all new DC people in here who've never worked in a DC before and they picked it up very quickly. And we even tested on some of our senior management. We had a rule where we, any senior management who visited the site, we got them into goods to person and they had to do some picking as well. One of the things that we're all conscious of as a project is to make sure we had a smooth transition to the operations team. Uh, so we got them on board very early in the piece so they could learn as much about the system as possible before we went live so they knew how to operate it. I think that's really paid benefits with Lee, um, one of the team leaders. We start off with our repacking area and they actually de-stuff all our individual cartons, putting the product into the totes. Each individual repacker will get three pallets assigned to them and they just constantly walk back and forth to those three pallets, repacking one pallet at a time and then once those pallets have been completed the forklift driver removes those pallets from them and gets issued with a new one. The system will then take it onto the conveyor belt system and it will go through the loops. It will be already allocated to a multi-shuttle. We actually start picking and then the totes get pulled from our multi-shuttle area. They go to the individual put station where the tote actually arrives to the picker. The light will then light up of which cartons need what quantity. The light will display which cartons they need to be picked into by highlighting those cartons green. And also your pick to light will highlight how many individual products need to go into every single carton. They then confirm which products they pick and their quantities by the push to light system and then once that product has been picked in full, the tote then goes away and another tote will come up with a different key code and that will just keep processing through until the whole order has been picked. Each individual put station can pick up to a maximum of 24 orders or 24 stores at a time because we allocate one pick location per store until that pick is finished for that store. Once the completion of the tote has been picked for that individual key code, if there are stocks still available, it may also send that tote to another pick station that is requiring that unit. Or if it isn't and there's still stock, it'll be sent back to the multi-shuttle for storage, waiting to be called again. Or if it's empty, it'll be sent out to our repack area so they can then reuse the tote. This D used to be set up with a mirror image of the range in the other two DCs. So we're all set up as regional distribution centres. 
The benefit of that is that uh, we've managed to reduce the travel distance, average travel distance to our stores by 600 kilometres, whereby previously the, the DC in Warwick, Queensland, was living in the New South Wales, and the DC in Monado, South Australia, was living in the ACT. Um, we've now we're taken over that, so a significant uh, transport cost saving for the business in um, positioning this DC here. The mix of products that we have in the GTP system are more of the, the lower cube, lower velocity products, more of your cosmetics, your soft goods, you know, your t-shirts and those type of products. We also have a, a range of security lines in there, so our cigarettes and our high price security lines are also in there because of the secure nature of storage that the GTP system provides us. We also have a manual operation within the shed, which is about 44% of the volume that goes through the shed. And that is your standard pick to pallet operation, but using voice technology, that gives the benefit of the operators being hands-free when they're picking their product. The cross dock at the moment is around 25% of our total volume that goes through the shed. Basically that is where the vendor picks and packs store ready and labels the product ready for store. We bring that in, we unload it straight off the trailers onto infeeds that go into our cross dock belt area and the operators then just have to one touch those cartons off the pallet onto the belt and onto the sorter to be packed straight out to store. So it's a very efficient operation, no put away, no replenishment required, one touch through the DC. So with this third DC now, Hoxton Park, uh, which does around 33% of Big W's national volume, um, it has reduced the demand in Warwick and Monado, uh, but which has then allowed us for future store growth in those regions. Now we've got the operation better down, we are now looking at where we range our product in the shed and look at if there are opportunities to rearrange some of the product into different modules, put more of the manual pick into the pick -to belt operation, maybe some of the pick -to belt operation in the GTP, and benefit from the increased KPIs that each of those areas give us. One of our key successes for this project was the way that the big W project team, the DC operations and the Dematic project team all worked as one unit in order to deliver uh, the project deliverables on time. We've been really pleased with the way the system's performed. Um, as with any startup operation, there have been some minor hiccups, but nothing major. We've had no major downtime. We've serviced every one of our stores every day without fail.